Well, as I say, the, it, enormous in the States. We do show Remington Steel here. It tends to go out a bit at strange times, so maybe that would be the reason yeah. why it hasn't grabbed the imagination of the public here in the same way as America, do you think? I don't think it, it is going out, is it? Actually, I think the BBC took it off. As far as I know they did. Well, that's what I heard. I heard it was on again and off again, actually. They put it on on Tuesday night at 7, and then they put it on Wednesday night at 11. Listen, this, Pierce, so, there's no need for you to turn nasty with me. <laughs> I don't make these decisions. I, I know I you don't. don't tell them I, to take I, the things I, off. I know you don't, but that's what I heard the other day, that it's no longer on. Oh, so, uh, you're still making it, though? We're still making it, yes. Hence, hence this growth here, see. We've just finished our uh, third season back in the States. That's not a growth. That's Isn't not that a growth, growth. No, no. no. Yes, that's designer stubble you have there. It's designer stubble. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's kind of like... It's like a jacket's got it as well. You, know. you don't wear that out in the street, do you, that jacket? <laughs> no, 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 no. Only on certain occasions. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, there's a class of the, the old Western about that. Do you there is. Have any no. ambitions to turn into John Wayne or anything? No, none whatsoever. Although I, I was going to do a movie, actually, this year, but that never got off the ground. Yeah. And that was going to be a Western. That was going to be a... What happened to the Irish accent? The Irish accent? Yeah. Uh, well, that comes and goes. It all depends on who I'm talking to. So by the end of this interview, I might be back into the brogue. <laughs> <laughs> but did you, would you have had to change to a slightly recognisable American accent to work in Remington Steel? Well, actually, when I, had a, when I was working here, people thought I was mid-Atlantic anyway. So um, I was halfway there. Do you have any, any of the old Irish left? Because how old were you when you well, left Ireland? Well, just, yes, there's a little bit there, yes, a little bit. I left, <laughs> I left actually, now in 64. I left, I left now. It's coming back, it's coming back. I left, <laughs> a, bit, a bit cod, as they would say, but I left in 64. Do you remember any, any of the old Irish, any of the Gaelic? Do you remember your name in Irish? No, I don't, no. I just about remember it in English, actually. Pierce so uh, <laughs> Pierce so Brosnahan. No, all I, no, all I remember is Sig Shears and Dulla Walia. And Sig Shears means sit down and Dulla Walia means go home. Do you not remember in class Will Cadigum Dolomach? No. No. I very rarely put my hand up. <laughs> no, of course, because you were educated by the Christian <laughs> brothers. The Christian yeah. brothers. They are fierce fellows. They are fierce fellows, yeah. You put your hand up, you were very lucky to get it back. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, I survived it anyway, and uh, so. You certainly have survived it. Uh, by way of Navin and Wimbledon, and now the Hollywood Hills in. L.A. That's a strange place. It's not a strange bad. place. Uh, well, we've had various yes. reports of the Hollywood Hills and life there, but you enjoy it, don't you? I enjoy it, yes. I, I, struck, a, I struck a vein of gold there. I was very fortunate. I was really lucky. I mean... Uh, you made uh, a couple of small films. Or you had small parts I in had, a couple of I films had, here yes. before you yeah, went, Yeah, I know the one you're going to pick up, yes. I was in... Uh, <laughs> I was it, was, it was a slow week that week, actually, and I got into two <laughs> films. I got into a film called The Long Good Friday, um, and another one was called uh, The Mirror Cracked with, with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. I don't remember you in The Long Good Friday. Was that, was that a quick part? We... I was the gentleman killer. <laughs> I was the killer. I pick the fellow up in the swimming baths and then I stab him. And then I pop up at the end of the movie and I point at Mr. Hoskins' head. Yeah. Um, you had to bend down to point at Mr. Hoskins' head. <laughs> <laughs> no. And the other one was, uh, I, was, I, was I was being cradled on uh, Liz Taylor's bosoms. It's very, <laughs> very... very... <laughs> Very, uh, it's very brief. Um, I mean, my, not her bosom, but, but I mean my <laughs> but, uh, the, It's just, she looks into my eyes and says, Jamie, Jamie, and puts her head, and that was it. Oh. But... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> since then... You're uh, breaking out in the sweat of the very thing. I, I know. <laughs> I know, since then. It gets very warm on here. Can I tell you this? It does, that's because it's live. Oh, it's yes, do really, it. Yes. You've been uh, very careful about no, no, under no. the arms and everything, no, have you? No, no, no. I don't know about that, but. Uh, well, it has to be careful these days. Yes. It does. Get a little, little close. A little bit of velvet. <clears throat> that's that's the, the roar of the grease band <clears throat> and the smell of the crowd, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. You always had the ambitions to do the acting. Uh, not really, no. It came out of the blue, actually. I left school and uh, I was a commercial artist. And uh, I went into the studio one day and I was talking to a fellow colleague and. Uh, about acting, and he said, well, I go to this place called the Oval House Theatre Club. And that was back in the late 60s. At that time, the experimental theatre was really blooming. And <clears throat> you weren't one of those idiots who walked uh, down the street acting in the street or anything. Yes, I did, that. I, did yes, that. No, yes, I did that, I did that, yes. I did that, I did fire eating. I was a fire eater for two weeks in the Hoffman Circus. <laughs> and, you wouldn't, you uh, wouldn't try that now with the beard, I'd say. No, I did it on a show, actually. I did it on Remington Steel one night, and nearly blew myself up. <laughs> uh, so I did it. That's how, really, I got smitten by acting. I used to go down to the theatre club every Tuesday night and Wednesday night, and then eventually it became every, every night. Mm. And uh, eventually I gave up commercial art and joined a theatre 
company and we got an arts council grant and went up and down the country and then decided that I wanted to go legitimate and then I trained the great drama school. Whatever drama happened Center. to that ambition to go legitimate? Mm -hmm. But never mind that. But the final question is a rather worrying one for me because I've made it perfectly clear to old Cubby, hi Cubs, um. that I am available <laughs> for the James Bond thing and now... <laughs> I understand that you are the front runner. I don't know anything about that. Now, don't it's, start. It's, don't start. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that's a goodness. wicked rumor, really. I mean, that's quite something. It's, it's fabrication by the press back there yeah. in the US. I mean, it's. Uh, Have you never been? Has Cubby I, not sidled <coughs> up to you at a party and said, "Hey, kid, Cubby has not like to be anything James of the sort." No. 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 Well, I shall peruse and indeed pursue the matter further because we hope to have uh, the present incumbent. Roger Moore along with us very shortly, mm -hmm. and I shall find out, and we'll probably get a picture of you and throw darts into it. Good, well, I'm sure you know better. <laughs> but in the meantime, yes. it's great to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Educated by the Christian the, Brothers. Christian yeah. Brothers, they are fierce fellows. They are fierce you, fellows, yeah. You put your hand up, you were very lucky to get it back. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, I survived it anyway, and uh, so. You certainly have survived it. Uh, by way of Navin and Wimbledon, and now the Hollywood Hills in L.A. That's a strange place. It's not a strange bad. place. Uh, well, we've had various yes. reports of the Hollywood Hills and life there, but you enjoy it, don't you? I enjoy it, yes. I, I, struck, a, I struck a vein of gold there. I was very fortunate. I was really lucky. I mean... Uh, you made uh, a couple of small films. Or you had small parts I in had, a couple of I films had, here yes. before you yeah, went, Yeah, I know you? the one you're going to pick up, yes. <laughs> I was in... Uh, <laughs> I was, it, was, it was a slow week that week, actually, and I got into two <laughs> films. I got into a film called The Long Good Friday, um, and another one was called uh, The Mirror Cracked with, with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. I don't remember you in The Long Good Friday. Was that, was that a quick part? I was the gentleman killer. <laughs> I was the killer. I picked the fellow up in the swimming baths, and then I stab him, and then I pop up at the end of the movie, and I point at Mr. Hoskins' head. Yeah. Um, you had to bend down to point at Mr. Hoskins' head. <laughs> <laughs> No, and the other one was, uh, I, was, I, was I was being cradled on uh, Liz Taylor's bosoms. It's very, 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 very uh, it's very brief. Uh, I mean, my, not her bosoms, but, but I mean my <laughs> but, uh, the, It's just, she looks into my eyes and says, Jamie, Jamie, and puts her head, and that was it. Oh. But... <laughs> anyway, since then... You're uh, breaking out in a sweat at the very top. I, I know. <laughs> I know. Since it gets very warm on here, but I tell you this. It does. That's because it's live. Oh it's yes, too. Really? Yes. You've been uh, very careful about no, under no, the no. arms and everything, no, have you? No, no, I don't know about that. But uh, well, it has to be careful these days. Yes. Just get a little, little close. A little bit of velvet. <clears throat> that's that's the the roar of the grease bag <clears throat> and the smell of the crowd. You know. Yeah. yeah. You always had the ambitions to do the acting. Uh, not really. No, it came out of the blue. Actually, I left school and uh, I was a commercial artist. And uh, I went into the studio one day and I was talking to a fellow colleague and. Uh, about acting, and he said, well, I go to this place called the Oval House Theatre Club. And that was back in the late 60s. At that time, the experimental theatre was really blooming. And <clears throat> you weren't one of those idiots who walked uh, around the street acting in the street or anything. Yes, I did, that. I, did that. No, yes. I did that, I did that, yes. I did that. I did fire eating. I was a fire eater for two weeks in the Hoffman Circus. <laughs> and, you, wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't try that now with the beard, I'd say. No, I did it on a show, actually. I did it on Remington Steel one night and nearly blew myself up. Uh, so I did it. That's how, really, I got smitten by acting. I used to go down to the theatre club every Tuesday night and Wednesday night, and then eventually it became every, every night. Mm. And uh, eventually I gave up commercial art and joined a theatre company, and we got an Arts Council grant and went up and down the country, and then decided that I wanted to go legitimate, and then I trained the great drama school. Called Whatever happened to that ambition to go legitimate? Mm. But never mind that. But the final question is a rather worrying one for me, because I've made it perfectly clear to old Cubby, hi, Cubs, um. that I am available... <laughs> Yeah. I very rarely put my hand up. <laughs> no, of course, because you were educated by the Christian the Brothers. Christian yeah. Brothers, they are fierce fellows. They are fierce you, fellows, yeah. You yes. put your hand up, you were very lucky to get it back. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, I survived it anyway, and uh, so. You certainly have survived it. <sighs> by way of Navin and Wimbledon, and now the Hollywood Hills in. L.A. That's a strange place. It's not a strange bad. place. Uh, well, we've had various yes. reports of the Hollywood Hills and life there, but you enjoy it, don't you? I enjoy it, yes. I, I, struck, a, I struck a vein of gold there. I was very fortunate. I was really lucky. I mean... Uh, you made uh, a couple of small films. Or you had small parts I in had, a couple of films had, here yes. before you yeah, went, Yeah, I know the one you're going to pick up. Yes. <laughs> I was in... Uh, <laughs> I was, it, was, it was a slow week that week, actually, and I got into two <laughs> films. I got into a film called The Long Good Friday, 
Um, and another one was called uh, The Mirror Cracked with, with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. I don't remember in The Long Good Friday. Was that, was that a quick part? I was the gentleman killer. <laughs> I was the killer. I picked the fellow up in the swimming baths and then I stab him. And then I pop up at the end of the movie and I point at Mr. Hoskins' head. Yeah. Um, you had to bend down to point at Mr. Hoskins. Well, <laughs> No, and the other one was, uh, I, was, I, was I was being cradled on uh, Liz Taylor's bosoms. It's very, 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 very uh, it's very brief. Um, I mean, my, not her bosoms, but, but I mean my appearance. <laughs> but uh, the, it's just, she looks into my eyes and says, Jamie, Jamie, and puts her head, and that was it. Oh. But... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> since then... You're uh, breaking out in a sweat at the very point. I, I know. <laughs> I know, since then. It gets very warm on here. I tell you, it does, that's because it's live. Oh, it's yes, too. Really, yes. You've been uh, very careful about no, under no, the no. arms and everything, no, have you? No, no, I don't know about that, but. Uh, well, it has to be careful these days. Yes. It does. Get a little, little close. A little bit of velvet. <clears throat> that's that's the, the roar of the grease band <clears throat> and the smell of the crowd, you know. Yeah, <laughs> no. You always had the ambitions to do the acting. Uh, not really, no. It came out of the blue, actually. I left school and uh, I was a commercial artist. And uh, I went into the studio one day and I was talking to a fellow colleague and. Uh, about acting, and he said, well, I go to this place called the Oval House Theatre Club. And that was back in the late 60s. At that time, the experimental theatre was really blooming. And <clears throat> you weren't one of those idiots who walked around uh, the street acting in the street or anything. Yes, I did, that. I, did that. No, yes. I did that, I did that, yes. I did that. I did fire eating. I was a fire eater for two weeks in the Hoffman Circus. <laughs> and, you, wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't try that now with the beard, I'd say. No, I did it on a show, actually. I did it on Remington Steel one night and nearly blew myself up. Uh, so I did it. That's how, really, I got smitten by acting. I used to go down to the theatre club every Tuesday night and Wednesday night, and then eventually it became every, every night. Mm. And uh, eventually I gave up commercial art and joined a theatre company, and we got an Arts Council grant and went up and down the country, and then decided that I wanted to go legitimate, and then I trained the great drama school. Whatever drama happened center. to that ambition to go legitimate? Mm. But never mind that. But the final question is a rather worrying one for me, because 